to Joy, really on the defensive today, as uh, Senate Democrats in particular hammered home their skepticism that some of the cost-cutting measures he's put into place over at the Postal Service are actually linked, they worry, to President Trump's skepticism about mail-in voting and an effort uh, that they could, they're concerned about to limit votes and how those votes are counted this fall. Here's Senator Carper, what he said today. And when I see what's going on with the president who wants to degrade the Postal Service, wants to get rid of vote by mail, you shouldn't be surprised that, that uh, we're alarmed when we see the kind of that degraded service that we're seeing across the country. But DeJoy said all he's trying to do here is to protect the Postal Service for the future by cutting costs and dealing with some of the financial systemic problems that the service has. Here's what he said. I want to assure this committee and the American public that the Postal Service is fully capable and committed to delivering the nation's election mail securely and on time. This sacred duty is my number one priority between now and Election Day. Kelly, all that came today as the president continued to hammer home his criticism of voting by mail, saying that if things don't go right this fall, it could be weeks or months until we know the results of the November election. Kelly, back over to you. All right, Eamon. Thank you, Eamon Jabbers, with the latest for us.